Welcome back to another episode of Frickin' Frackin' Sports. I am your host, Cody, and today we're going to be talking about the Texas A&M versus New Mexico game. Um, another episode will be um, the Oklahoma versus... Uh, who we play? Come on. I don't even know. We just killed them. Arkansas State. That's who. Um, but that'll be it. They'll be up at the same time. Continuity here. Um, so, um, I'm not gonna lie. I fell asleep for the first half while I was taking a nap, and my alarm did not go off for me to wake up for this game. Um, but because I was at the OU game and we were standing in the sun for about like four hours, so it just drained me of all my energy, so I had to take a nap, but, so I just overslept, that was fun, um, so, but, I can only talk about what I saw, um, because I don't want to give misinformation about what, something I didn't see, and I like to use the eye test over everything, um, but the second half, which I did see, I thought they looked really good and really put together. Um, I know that because Jimbo did give up his play calling, and I did not know that until I listened to that broadcast. So, but he gave up his play calling to someone else. So, it, and honestly, that could have been it. It could have been that Jimbo just didn't choose the right plays to call um but I liked exactly how that offense went about it uh their defense looked solid I kind of paid more attention to that offense because that was one of the key focal points of what was why they lost all their games last year is their offense just did not look good and it was because I think Mostly the quarterback position. Uh, you know, and watching Connor Wayman, when he was playing those... Uh, he didn't play as much in the second half. They put in the backup, Max Johnson, um, just because they were, um, you know, killing them. So they didn't really need to have him out there, um, you know, risk him getting an injury and then sink their season. But... For him to have five touchdowns, zero interceptions, 236 uh, yards, and 78 completion percentage, like, that's that's a really good game. Um, the 236 yards of passing yards, like, that's not a whole bunch, but I guess that's also because of the run game. Um, which, again... I like to watch more of the pass plays, um, so, and then that's honestly what I saw more of, and he looked good, he was elusive out of the pocket, like, he created plays, and I think that's what they need, um, and it looked really good, and I mean, they have some really good receivers, I mean, Evan Stewart and Noah Thomas had all five receiving touchdowns, and they looked really good. Moose got a touchdown. Uh, and he's he's freaky good. But I mean, he kind of had an off game. And then I Smith, he also was good. He got a lot of yards. Didn't get a touchdown. But, you know, it was, it was good to see their ability to score. And I think that is going to make this team very exciting to watch this season. Um, obviously next week they go to Miami to play the Hurricanes and that's going to be a relatively tough game, um, because I just think that they're both kind of now, uh, very, um, highly regard, like they were both, they kind of had, had this thing on their shoulder where they've been overrated. Uh, especially last year, you know, the Hurricanes underperformed, Texas A&M underperformed, so 
um, the in Texas A&M won last year at Kyle Field. So if you can go into Miami, I don't know what their stadium's called, so excuse me on that. But if you can go into Miami and beat them, or at least drag them around the field, it'll be very good, and I think that'll set up Texas A&M nicely. It's going to be a tough game. They have a lot of tough games on their schedule. Uh, this is one of the tougher non non-conference games that's not in the SEC. Their other two are relatively easy. I wouldn't say they're, you know, just uh, gimmies, but, you know, they're relatively easy to the competition of the SEC because they've all improved greatly. Um, so, honestly, I'm very excited to see where this game goes. I'm a little upset. I'm going to have to go to the OU game, and it's going to kind of be a time conflict, so I can't watch this full next week game. But, you know, Boomer Sooner, like, I got to go support my uh, Sooner. So it's going to be a tough game for the Aggies. I'm excited, though, and I'm going to honestly have to record it to watch the part that I didn't see because I want to report on it still. Um, anyways, let me know your thoughts, and, uh, yeah, Giga Mags and Boomer Sooner.